Praise the GM. I'm sorry, can you say that a little bit louder? Uh, all praise the GM. Okay, now oh, make sure Jesus. you face north and bow. Um, okay? I expect, I think of me, me as your mecca. Think of me as your mecca. Let me think of which way is north, okay? The sun sets that direction. So that's west. So I don't know where north is. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like that way ish. Put the west on your left. Then uh, let me map it. Okay. Oh boy, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know is east and west. I, 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 I do. You doing? I, I do. It's just I'm sitting down. Oh, I, I'm actually unironically really good at directions when I'm walking, but I can't do it when I'm not walking. My brain doesn't. Yes, my, Alamos, my we brain, need the help we can get. My brain doesn't do it. Okay. Oh. It, does, it doesn't click. Uh, yeah, north should be like on your. Yeah, it should be like that way. Okay. So you I'm, you, I'm you realize that you could literally point in a direction and nobody would fucking know. And yeah, but I care about actually doing All right, it right. Sniper team, okay. move in, move in, move in. <laughs> you could have pretended like you were competent. For five minutes. No, well, because I am confident. I figured it out. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's good. That's good. And also so the window you behind probably, you faces northwest, is what you're saying. Uh, you look on your phone. Something like that. I don't know. No, I my phone. My, my phone's gyroscope, or whatever. How it figures the direction is fucked. Like it has no idea. It, it, if I'm like on Google Maps, it thinks I'm facing like about 85 degrees the wrong direction. So my phone's just fucked. I don't know. Jake, I just want you to once again reiterate that depressing fact one more time so I can tell my wife that we're moving. You can just go ahead and reiterate just one more time for us. Uh, the fact that we get... Uh, Elaborate on we. Guaranteed. Okay, Australia. Get yeah. Four weeks of uh, annual leave. And then when you're at a company for 10 years, you are entitled to 13 weeks of long service leave. Um and on top of this we're entitled to an additional one and a half one and one third uh week of long service leave for each full year of service after the initial 10. is there the cap eventually you just have all, all year off uh, i i'd say every, for every year you just get that additional one and a third week you know what i mean no i don't you're saying you get a week off a month You can have all there the are 12 time months and you're saying 13 weeks. You're saying you get a week off a month. Oh, for the 10, for the yeah. long service. Yeah, you yeah. only get th that once though, the long service leave. And then you'll get like five, uh, I think five weeks and a third of a week after 10 years. Oh, so you get a one time kaboomie. Yeah, 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 yeah. As like, as like a thank five, you. Five, five and a third week every year after. Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I miss. I thought you were saying every year afterwards. No, 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 no. Wouldn't that be amazing if we could have like just like a one time, just like a, just like as a, as a thank you for your long term service? And here, you just have to do it after like twenty years, and it would blow people's minds. If you you're, did twenty yeah, years yeah. here, it'd blow people's minds. You're in the wrong field again. At five years, I I, I get a five weeks sabbatical on top of my vacation, so that's like nine nine weeks. If you had just made better life choices, Scott, this this could have all been. Listen, I I tried I tried to make better life choices. It didn't work out for me. I tried so hard, oh, it did not oh. work out. And, and you could just be a, a part of the statistic. Just end it, right? That's good. They're they're trying to make better antidepressant drugs now. Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh my god! Oh my oh god. god! Oh, this is so depressing. Um, but so... that Dogecoin is going to take you. No, He's gonna go to the moon, boys. Yeah. Diamond hands it. That's right. Well, Raph, I, 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 I made money on Doge, but that's because I know people are retarded. But yeah, but the, don't diamond hands anything, okay? Oh no, no, <laughs> don't do that. I'm not giving. I'm not giving uh, economic advice. Okay? Hashtag not, not a yeah, yeah, not a not financial, financial advisor. Advice, yeah. Not, but you know. Don't do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
so last session hold on i'm just trying to recoil from uh, yeah i, I got depression this depression uh, from from the the sad existence <laughs> that is my life I, I got this last session we um i think you understand i'm excited that after five years of being with the same company which is next year i have an unusually high amount of vacation which is over four which is over four weeks that is an unusually high amount Ugh. look that's just the rest of my life okay you know i know I'm I'm burning a week and a half on your brother's wedding. That kills me. Actually, I'm, I'm going to be gone uh, for a while then too because we're going to go to um, Grand Canyon um, afterwards. Uh, how so, far away is that? We're, no, we're... Clear. <laughs> cool. You you you're talking you're talking to the guy. You think I plan things? I think I know. That's a, we're we're probably going to spend two weeks up there. We just don't know what we're doing yet. So. Don't go to Flagstaff. I hear to wash. I don't get it. Uh, Flagstaff just had some um, uh, record-breaking uh, thunderstorms and rainfalls where there was literally a video of a car being washed down a hill and smashing into other cars as it goes because, like, streets became rivers. Oh. It was, um, yeah. Uh, wow. Flags so, hmm? so they're all getting sued by Nestle for stealing their water, right? <laughs> well, to be to be fair, you live in Arizona outside of Flagstaff. You're, you're, you're a part of the problem. Cough, cough, Eric. Cough, cough, Aaron. Like, I mean, th that water isn't that, like, they turn this into this. That comes at a cost, you know, like. But my but, lawn. Hmm? I said, but my lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you remember when America. Aaron, remember when Aaron used to shit on me for my lawn? Because here, here in New England, people don't really care about their lawn. You just kind of like, if it's green, you're happy. So if it's like two thirds weeds, but like a third it's grass, it's, it's just, fine. Just, that's just how Scott maintains his lawn. No, it's not New England. Drive throughout the drive throughout the neighborhoods. People don't care yeah. if there's weeds in their lawn. Nobody cares. Like, there are some people, but they're like crazy people. There's so many water bands. So many water bands. It's and most most of the people in my neighborhood ignore them. It's it's just Scott doesn't want one more chore, so that's the lie he sells his family. Well, you also so you also get, you pay huge fines for hurting the environment. So, which by the way, I totally want to get barrels, the water barrels. It would have been great this year. That way, you can water your lawn without a. Uh... We're here for a reason. So go ahead. Yeah. Last session we finalized our preparations and requirements on our journey north east to i can't read the name on the map but it's like 10 got something it's i have the notes i just don't have my notes open that's my bad either way uh we spotted some bandits uh or bandits uh on our oh do with tang chang tang chang yeah yeah okay I could, I could i couldn't read the end of it no you're good it's it's covered in uh hexes yeah so uh on our yeah we, we spotted bandits and we came up with a plan to decisively deal with them um i failed horribly because i rolled bad and scott rolled well varix destroyed the army but his arm also got destroyed um and nick was a badass whoa i mean that's kind of what happens and hoko did like nothing if i recall uh, either way, some of our men died. Hoko lent us people from Vosk and took our wounded and the rest of his people back to Vosk. Um, I just want to roll back there. You know what Hoko did do? He passed his stealth check. Sorry. No, no. The enemy rolled a Whoa, fucking dude, He was 18. just nice to you and you immediately turn around and go, thanks for that. Sorry, he's, one of my dudes. he's one of my dudes. You can't throw no, he rolled the lowest health to me. It just his guy rolled like a four on his check, and my guy rolled a hey, hey twenty-two. Guys, if, you okay. wanna, if you want to trump, if you want to trump card Naren, I get it, man. <laughs> oh god, yeah. okay. It's already you know, been done, okay? No, it hasn't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I rolled it. I got trump carded. What ha have you met you? <laughs> so if you want to trump card Naren together, I got trump card <laughs> twice. Okay, actually, Scott's just trying to kill my axe peak. All right. Um. Well, you can just get another one. It's not really. It's in six months. Yeah, but you know. Either way, we dealt Isn't with the that bandits. Things I say like thirty. Yeah. It's pretty wild. So I yeah, we take dealt care of it. 
we we figured out um those it was a well it, it's not a clan oh, so, I'm so sorry um so can you answer a question for me how yeah. well do axe beaks swim um they probably naturally swim because like they're animals they're birds they're light most birds are light ostrich uh, are not light can ostrich swim jake ostrich don't, I don't know Live in Australia? How, how do you how do you, how do you know that? I don't know that. I know he has emus. I don't care. How do you not know that, Jake? Can can ostrich swim? They probably can. They do swim. Um, just so, just so you know, Okuri has an eleven for a swim check. So yeah, it well, will probably survive while I drown miserably. Yeah, well, no, I mean, uh, you'll be sitting on top of it, weighing uh, it down. Uh, no, no, ostriches do float. They float and then they use their legs and just swim. Oh, they float! Oh, nice. I'll I'll have a fucking duck boat ride. They, they, they either float <laughs> or, or 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 they're strong enough with their legs to just propel themselves in water and not worry about it. Suckers! It's all the feathers. The feathers help to di di you know um yeah, disperse the it, weight. They can't keep afloat. So there you go, Scott. You're not gonna drown it. Well, I mean, I guess if you make like a like a monster or something, drown it. But you know, at that point, you're just being mean. Um, either yeah. way, uh, we figured out these guys are from Clan Vok, or no, they were hired by Clan Vok, and they were like a clan. A, a it wasn't clanless. It was, it was like they're like tribes almost, but like mm -hmm. they're just clans without settlements. Yep, which and, are uh, just tribes, but like they hate being called tribes because well, they're because they're, they're not barren lands. Yeah. And um, yeah. they uh, they would not inform you what the name of their tribe was, which is fine. I don't really care too much. Um, they're just doing a job. Um, but we ha we're getting we're using hit, uh, the leader of this band to confirm with the people of Clan Ten Chang of Vox dastardly deeds. Dastardly deeds. It was I. You know, I was waiting to use a clever word, but just I had to. Um, either way, um, sounds like a swashbuckler class feature. It honestly, it does sound like a swashbuckler class feature. But um, so we are in the middle of kind of just doing sightseeing in Tenjing. I did try to, I tried to do some research into books. I failed horribly. Uh, Varix didn't get lucky on a roll, so he got to wander and like see one of the first like cities that the Baron Lands Landers built on their horde through um. The Dalelands, um, and the Nick spoke with the treasurer of Clan Tenchang to arrange a Kushibashi being the primary wood a wood giver to this clan. Of course, he couldn't deliver what it is that they needed, so there was um, it was one of those things where it's it's about potential. Yeah, he has the potential of making this happen, but but you know, Nick's all promise and no delivery. You know what I'm saying? He also he gave them a branch of the of the white wood, right? Or did you keep the branch? Uh, I gave them a leaf. You gave them a leaf, yeah. So you gave them a leaf of the. He's like, white tree. leave me alone. Okay. That was clever. I like that one. They, right. they asked for wood. I gave them the tip. That's how it is. Gotta do some foreplay. <laughs> no foreplay. None. It was an angry tip. Um. Either way. And I think right now we're getting into us meeting with the, it, Nick failed his check to find the marshal. And I was looking for the warden, I think is what it was. So we're going to speak to the warden now of Tencheng about uh, them, them cooperating our story of Clan Box trying to kill us on the road. So we can bring this to the north. Uh, correct. Yeah, the big thing is that because the, the this person, you kind of like captured them and brought them with you and they're willing to work with you. They're willing to be honest because it's not like they have a skin in the game beyond, you know, their own skin in the game. Uh, uh, they, they, it's not like they personally want you dead. They were hired to do a job and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, listen, Joey just, you know, doesn't know how to swim. It's not his fault. He just never learned as a child and he struggles with it. So, oh God, that was such a, that was such a horrible like scene. Yeah, that was, no, it was, um, it's pretty funny. Josh it's tried. So sad. Josh tried so hard too. Yeah, but, and I, I couldn't get there because you know I was killing everything else. No, it's pretty funny. 
Didn't he like jump onto the boat, but because of the air tunnel, he flew off of it or something? He it, all in the first turn. I failed and slipped on the boat. He jumped on the boat, killed two people. The captain walked out, activated a magic item, and it just launched him gust off of the wind. Boat. Yeah, it was gust of wind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's so. right. He started badass because he used like two abilities as a ninja like at once, and like landed on the boat and it was super badass. And then it was like, ah! and I kind of fucked him because I actually hydraulic pushed one of the dudes off into the water next to him, which is the person that started drowning him, which is just unfortunate. So what you're saying is Joey should still trump card you and not Nick. Okay, I appreciate no, that. No, because um, he failed all of his checks, so it's kind of his fault. Did, did Joey's character die? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a while ago, but yes. The, yeah. They drowned. Uh, yeah. They, they drowned, ago. which was like really shitty, but... Either way, so um, let's uh, let's get back into it. Um, so yeah, you guys are, are going to go and speak with the uh, the warden. I don't believe I actually gave you the name of the warden, did I? No, I don't All believe right. so. Cool. Uh, were there any other details you guys wanted to um, uh, confer with one another um, uh, before you kind of like went went forward? Because uh, you all you all went your separate ways and got a little bit of information. But I don't know if there was anything you wanted to reconfer with one another prior to to pushing on. Uh. I'm trying to, we're talking to this guy because we captured the enemy commander and he's basically going to give us a verbal, okay, this is, this guy was hired by X to do uh, some dirty deeds. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, Tenching is, uh, Tenching is, so we have a report of this and Tenching is going to write a report that this is half, this has happened, like confirming it with us, hopefully. So when we go to the North, we can bring this case against Fock. Because uh, it, it's one thing having three clans that are known to work together say something, but having an outside party that's unrelated to the event agree with this is like putting a testament of like this is truth. It's add uh, the the additional like oomph to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right now you all three of you are are it, you know it's like you all three of you are the accusers. So any more evidence from you is not necessarily going to have the same weight as from mm -hmm. others. So we're going to uh, jump into this conversation with the the person that you're going to be meeting with, the warden. Uh, but right before we do so, I just one thing to say. Welcome back, Bolita. I know you um, uh, had to go watch the other stream and you just got back to this point. So I just wanted to say we missed you while you were gone. And welcome back to the uh, the, the, the stream. Um, I, I'd give you a hug, but um, you put that court order on me. So um, I'm dreaming Yikes. about you. Moving on. Um, you guys are going to go into, going to speak with the, um, the, what is it called? The warden of, um, uh, Teng Cheng. Uh, the warden's name is Murag. Murag. M-U-R-A-G, if you can't write it down. Um. He's going to be Warden Durag for me. That's just. It's just funny, is it, the name of that. And, and a name generator. I saw the name Shat. S-H-A-T. Oh, no. And I was like. Do I ever use this name? No, it's too much of a meme. Like it would it'd be too it, speaking of chat. Hey uh hey Ash. Welcome. So um uh so Murag is the person's name. You're gonna go and speak with them now. Uh the warden, in case you guys uh, don't recall, the responsibility of the warden is My apologies. The responsibility of the warden is to actually like uh, see to the security of um, of the other like higher ups, kind of like see to it that they have uh, proper personnel uh, watching after them, keeping them safe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as well as looking towards the infrastructure of all of the cities um, of like say the capital city and all the other uh, bigger ones, not necessarily like small small uh, uh villages or uh, thorps or anything like that it's just like the the more proper uh locations and beyond that they also have um uh the responsibility of uh interior defense in general so you have to imagine it's more kind of like capital buildings um uh etc cetera, etc cetera, et cetera. whereas maybe the general would handle um the uh armies that parole that, that uh patrol like the outskirts of everywhere uh, even if they will fall directly into the command of the marshals. And you can imagine it's like the royal enforcer that kind of like takes care of like the police. You know what I mean? 
But mm -hmm. anyways, so uh, the warden that you're going to go speak with, um, his name's Murag, as I just said. Murag's actually not uh, Cork, Orc, uh, human or otherwise. They're actually a mole. Um, mole are a little bit un un unusual here. Uh, I'm saying mole, I'm sorry, hobgoblin. Are a little bit unusual here, but Nick actually has a little bit of a kinship towards them, um, I believe. No, 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 you don't. I, I always, I keep forgetting what your, your racial background is. Either way, so you're going to go in to, uh, and meet with this uh, this hobgoblin. <sighs> when you meet with them, uh, you can see that uh, Ting Chang um, clearly had a lot of things that they were working on leading up to uh, the ball and the people that would be traveling through here and, and security about this sort of thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when you go walking and meeting with them, you're going to be meeting with them inside their office. Their office is a bit larger than the other leadership's office because they don't just have like their typical desk that they have that they sit at um where others could could join them uh with you know the various books sort of that i have around they actually have a large table off to the side in their office as well a table that has a bunch of different scrolls kind of like rolled up or rolled up uh adjacent to it that you can see are all sorts of different plans um one of the things that you notice is the um uh the kind of like as you're going in you can like make perception checks to to see what details of these things you're able to try to interpret et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, going in to meet with uh, Murag, you can see that not only are they just a hobgoblin, they're a little bit older in age. So the hobgoblins, uh, as a reminder, their skin, they could either be covered uh, with a good amount of like, uh, I dare I say fur, but like very, very, very tight to their skin fur um, throughout their body, or they could be completely uh, uh, covered in um, uh, flesh, right? So not fur or anything like that. But even the ones that are mostly flesh, which is most hobgoblins, they have, um, their hair grows very thick. So they have like the thick areas where they can grow down like uh, extremely thick mutton chops or grow in thick beards if they want to. The most hobgoblins tend to keep it very, um, uh, very trim. Uh, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because this particular, uh, ho oh, by the way, the ones that grow the fur are usually the ones that are in the southern parts of uh, Eroth, so where it's going to be colder. Anyways, so this particular one you're seeing, their head is almost completely covered in gray hair. The beard that they keep, which is um, uh, a little bit scraggly, more scraggly than you would typically see, it's almost completely grayed. Even the arm hair and whatnot they have on them is already starting to gray. So they're they're definitely elevated in age. Um, but despite that fact, they still seem to have like you know straight back, full mobility, the no shakiness to their voice, like that. They, they're aged, but not falling apart by any stretch. Did anybody make those perception checks? I don't think any of y'all did. Um, I have a question actually. When, sure. when um, addressing him, would we call him Ten Chang Morag, or would we just say Morag? What would you like the proper address for the the, the, fir the first time you would uh, uh, encounter somebody, uh, you would call him Ten Chang Morag, okay. right? Just like Kushibashi Nar and so on and so forth. Though people will, because you're warlords, generally speaking, when first encountering you, they'll refer to as, uh, you know. Uh, what is it? Uh, Warlord Kushibashi or Kushibashi Warlord, right? Um, but either way, uh, that's usually the first introduction. Beyond that, things can get almost immediately a lot less formal. What were we supposed to be doing? Cat's vomiting. Perception checks. Cat's oh. right there vomiting. Yeah. It's like, hey, I'm just going to vomit. That. It's right here. Just for you. Like, oh. oh, oh, oh. That's a nat 20. People wonder why I hate cats. It's gross, bro. You know, it's just a hairball because it's part of like what they are as creatures. But like, yeah, this is gross creatures. Okay. So, um, I rolled a nat 20. Mm hmm. I see so that. Quit success. I'm very proud of you. Thank um, you. Uh, and, uh, if any of you happen to have architecture and engineering, if you can go ahead and roll that for me. Yeah, of course. <sighs> A good 16. Neither of you do? Okay. I did not. Cool. So all three of you are going to be able to see the plans that are laid out on the table. So you see the plans of, like, uh, the different parts of the city that, um, uh, they have. Uh, set for more buildings kind of being installed. You actually saw a whole new almost like district, if you will, um, that is going to be expanded into uh, for the city and kind of like the plans of what they're going to be doing uh, over in that direction, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can see those kind of plans laid out over there. 
Um, uh, and so, uh, the way that they kind of like set up your, everybody's able to interpret that pretty well. Uh, so you can make up more detail than that. You can see that the part of the city district area that they're looking to lay out is actually meant to be uh, something that focuses on because you were in Southern Kajigsi, Southern Kajigsi, but like in that central uh, middle part where they're really start, starting to be able to tie into Northern Kajigsi's kind of culture. You can see that this is actually meant to be almost like an educational district, like an area where they have intended to make uh, a, a university um, as well as having... Um, uh, a couple of other like academies and whatnot that are over there. Um, you can kind of pick it up based off of, like the structure of the buildings that, that are kind of being sketched out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But beyond that cell, the little critical over there, what you're able to notice one of the other plans that, that are set into place. You can kind of see something that's um, it's slightly rolled up with papers kind of covering over it. And so you are able to kind of like, step over to a point, just the way you're angling, the way you look at it, you're quickly able to interpret. This is the main drag of the uh the city as it stands like the main uh area and you can see there's little marked points that are along there it takes a moment for you to uh figure out what's going on but you realize this looks like not a structure for buildings but almost like um like a layout like a plan for people why don't you go ahead and roll me a um uh profession soldier or a knowledge warlord check okay profession soldier is better well yeah but it's not better than a negative one Okay. compared to it the plus 11. so you can see that these are, are clearly marked uh with your 21 clearly marked locations for uh there to be positioned soldiers but looking at okay, where they're marked so on and so forth you can see that these pretty much all if not all look like they're set on top of buildings over along the main drag of the city where where like a, a good amount of um uh people will be traveling through the significance of this you don't know but you know it is something that's kind of a uh, set up right there either way uh, this is information everybody's able to grab um, to the whatever I uh, refer to each of you. Um, you're going to pick that up in the first like minute or so of chatting, kind of like looking around, taking in the sights, cell kind of uh, arranging themselves. When you come walking into the uh, uh, the office that they have, because you are invited in, and it's not a long wait either. You knew how long you had to wait. We talked about it last session. And when you're invited in, it's like you're stuck waiting outside, so on and so forth. At the time that you're appointed to go there, like when you come walking up towards the, uh, the Capitol building that you guys are, are uh, meet at, immediately somebody's waiting to bring you to their office, and the office door is already open, open waiting for you to come in. So none of that waiting bullshit that you have to deal with. That being said, uh, you go walking in, they immediately will stand up, seeing as the, uh, as their, um, the person guiding you steps through first. They immediately stand up and come around their desk. And I go over towards the three of you and will bow to each of you individually, uh, saying to uh, to you kind of like the appropriate greeting, which would be, um, uh, welcome, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Kushibashi Narin, Warlord of Clan Narin. Welcome, Kushibashi Tessel. Uh, sorry, Shadow Tessel. Uh, Warlord of Clan Tessel, welcome uh, Densho Varix, Warlord of Clan Varix. Um, if you gentlemen would please uh, have a seat, or if uh, you find yourself more comfortable standing, you're welcome to do so. And he kind of like goes over and uh, will stand. And uh, as he's there, he's again, he's a bit older. He's a bit, uh, you know, has a bit of a straight backness to him, despite being uh, aged. Um, he says, I heard you wanted to, to speak with me on matters of a prisoner that you had dropped off in one of our cells. Uh, yes, uh, greetings, um, Ten Cheng Morag. We have, we were ambushed on the roads by one of the clans that don't call any place their home, ones without cities. They were hired by Clan Vok in an attempt to assassinate us we wish um you to gather his story as well and write a letter that we can take to the north to cooperate our agree uh, our understanding of the situation hmm. he says um gentlemen please if you will um what's going on between uh your clan and a couple of the others it's talked about it's heard it seems as though you've been busy this past year each of you and the rumor also suggests that the three of you are very closely tied to one another 
So, I have to be a little bit skeptical as to um, the, uh, the validity of this prisoner. Is this somebody that you hired to be a fall? Perhaps um, giving them vast wealth for some interest of theirs, and in exchange they're going to uh, offer these details or, or what have you. I, I understand that there's a lot going on. What can you offer me as evidence? Battle site? Hmm? The battle site? He, he nods. Um, extremely close to your lands. Uh, touching your border, even. So, um, I think it would be in... Uh, what's the name of this clan? Uh, Ten Chang, uh, yep. It would be in Ten Chang's best interest uh, to act as a... Um, investigator or moderator in this situation um so you can maintain your neutrality so we investigate the site and we find i imagine a, a good number of corpses that are there i'm not going to push aside the significance of those that laid down their lives for whatever it was they believed in or were paid for but um the idea that so far from their own clan, these others would be sending a, a rather sad group of assassins to have barely done a proper attempt against you. We caught them Order. before they could attack us. We spotted them, so we ambushed them. If we walked right in the trap, who knows what could have happened. Oh, we sprung the trap. We didn't ambush them. They still shot the first... They fired the first strike. That is true. Um, we, we did everything in our ability to make sure that this could have been resolved without bloodshed. Um, they chose the path that, uh, that they took, and their lives were lost because of it. Um, the, the gentleman who is in your custody currently is a proud uh, Kurok. Uh, he was defeated soundly. Um, he would not uh, overtly um, give up the name of his uh, benefactor, although the details he was able to give and we were able to extract uh, leaves none in question, and I assume you would be able to do the same uh, and, and to come to the same conclusion. As far as uh, Vox's ability to hire competent people and to make uh, strategically sound choices, um, that seems to be a failing on their part. As of what we can do to uh, cooperate, you are in charge of maintaining your warlord's laws uh, throughout his uh, lands, are you not? <clears throat> I, I think it's everybody's responsibility, but um, that that is less so mine, but it's everybody's, of course, warlord. And no doubt you are competent. That's how you have your position. I'm sure you have ways of serving your... Uh, your warlord and getting to the truth when matters are in doubt we have nothing to hide you should use those skills to corroborate our story or discover the story that you find to be what, more clear what deal did you make with this uh, with this man do we we don't think we even made a deal actually you did uh I, I, the deal was simply that um, as long as he came willingly and spoke his piece, um, he would be released into your custody. Was it into their custody or was it you wanted him released, released? Uh, we, we weren't going to press for grievances, but I'm not going to claim to have any authority here. 
Oh, I understand. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. We, we, we wanted to respect the laws of Ten Cheng. So if they have like, like is like if people are outside of borders killing people, they have to be executed. Then that's what it is. If it's like, hey, you can just let this guy go yeah. and it's not a big deal. But, but didn't you want to put a thumb in the scale for Amnesty? Not, not Amnesty, but yes. Uh, uh, well, yes. Yeah, yeah no. it, it just he was defeated soundly. Um, yeah. You know, and uh, we chose to spare his life instead of take it on the field. So um, we would. Uh, as as he cooperates, we would ask the Ten Chang respect that decision. But uh, at the end, it is your lands, your laws. Um, <clears throat> I can tell you that um, I'm not one for wasting time. There's very little of it to spare. So I already had him questioned, um, or I should say, he's being questioned as we speak. I don't have the end results of how things have played out. Um, as things stand right now, the questioning is all being done simply with words no threats no um any concerns there's was little understanding of what it was that was expected of the three of you and so i didn't want to overstep boundaries but i was told that uh originally that when they were placed off you wanted to have their you wanted to have their story taken uh for account so we had that taken care of for you the um I can give you, I suppose, an opinion uh, by tomorrow on the matter, but is this what you've come for? To deliver to me a prisoner, hear their story, and hope that uh, another person would be able to uh, deliver it to elsewhere? Are you asking for me to get involved in your affairs? Oh, we're asking for a third-party confirmation of events that... Um you know transpired we're not asking you to take a side we're simply asking you to verify a statement mm. and that we are not coercing this statement we're trying to do everything we can by kajigsi law and um, you do know that outside of the clear written law by confirming these statements i am choosing a side Uh, you're, you're choosing a side with knowing that you're gathering the truth of the matter. And by denying them, you're also choosing a side. We understand that this is a hard press. I mean, if you want to allow clans to perform uh, dishonorable acts on your borders, uh, I don't think that will look favor favorably for any clan. <clears throat> With all due respect, Warlord, I think that kind of decision is going to be left for the Marshal or the Warlord or the General, but I understand what you are um, saying. This is a, a rather uh, difficult place that you've uh, come and put me in, and I think you know that. I think you're trying to use this pinch on purpose. Um, I also respect the situation you're in. Who do you think hired them? Uh, it was... Most likely Clan Vok or uh, it, it, Clan Vok uh, was being. Uh, oh shit. Um, what's the. Not Zing Chang, it's Zinquin. 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 Uh, we, we believe uh, Vok is just a pawn of Zinquin. This is all trickling in from them. Uh, I've had multiple sources already partially confirm this. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but both Zing Quinn and Vok happen to be trade partners of Tang Chang. Uh, we are aware, and we are currently under talks to start building a road to Chen Chang. As uh, Clan Kuchibashi is a superior lumber, lumber uh, trader. I've already spoken with your treasurer, and... Uh, Agreements have been made that once the road is established, things uh, will most likely change. Well, that sounds like good news for you, and I wish you the best in your um, uh, in your endeavors. But that being said, as it stands right now, um, these are well, these are partners of ours, uh, people that we have much investment with. So uh, taking sides would be rather difficult to do. Um, I need time to to contemplate on the matters, um, if you don't mind. Uh, gentlemen, I wish to speak out about other topics. Um, perhaps you could tell me more stories of the South, as I myself have never uh, traveled 
anywhere near close to where it is that your clans happen to lay. I can and, tell you several stories. And, and with that, we can kind of just yeah. assume that um, uh, you guys kind of get into a little bit more of a relaxed situation. Um, uh, he's going to contemplate what it was that you guys were discussing there and uh, and whatnot. So this is going to come down to a diplomacy check. I think in this scenario, even though Cell opened up with it, Nick was definitely kind of took point on this one. So I'm going to require Nick to be the one to lead the diplomacy check. So before he rolls that. I'll assist him then. Yeah. The others are welcome to try to assist. Jake spoke, I think, three words. So I'm not sure if he's allowed to assist. What do you think, chat? Should Jake be allowed to assist as well? Or is it 30 plus plus three? Uh, you, you, it's, yeah, it's a plus three. It doesn't go up again to a four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunate. Well, Nick, take your plus four. Higher DC. Ooh, look at that one. They're saying that you that you can do it, but instead of having to hit a 10, you have to hit a higher DC, like a 15 or a 20. Hmm. Um, I I don't think I... Not during the hand wave, wave during the well. initial part, uh, Ashen. Go ahead, Jake. Sorry. I don't think I uh, inputted enough. Um, surprised, not surprisingly, Nick said uh, every point that I already had. Uh, so what you're saying is you and Nick I, are more or less the same person. I can't see it. Uh, Six too nice. <laughs> oh, uh, this is because Australian. If he was American, he'd be an asshole too. I'm sorry, Jake. I won't roll. Okay, that's up to you, Jake. Uh, Cell is offering you a plus three. Yeah, it was a plus four. Oh uh, yeah, I said plus four by accident. My bad. Gotcha. Um. I'm just double checking. I've got a random bonus on my diplomacy. I want to make sure I'm rolling the right number here. Uh... <sighs> Do you get something from being a cavalier to your diplomacy? Uh, I think I have a few things that buff my diplomacy in different situations, and I'm trying to figure out if they apply. can't wait my vacation is coming so soon and i'm stupid i'm not gonna start my vacation enjoying it with like a good night's sleep i'm gonna start my vacation by driving to maine less than an hour after ending the stream on friday night so oh friday night God. i'm gonna do regicide then i'm gonna go upstairs probably gonna take like a rinse off or something to just like wake myself up pour a cup of coffee and drive to maine and then i'm gonna stop at old orchard beach which is where i grew up going to as a kid on the on the way up there Let's have an older distribution in Maine and watch the sun rise over the ocean with the girls. It's going to be awesome. Does that include your plus three, sir? Yes. Do you want to go ahead and try to luck that? The reason I bring this up is because it's based off of what their uh, uh, opinion towards you is when you come walking in. Yeah. That's a shit roll. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Jump up the whole tier, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That was beautiful. Um, cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, after everything's kind of said and done, at one point in time, like while the the, the meeting is going on, uh, he'll actually have uh, somebody come up and uh, knock on the door. Um, the door was left open because you guys aren't having a private like this isn't like a high uh, security meeting or anything like that. The door is left open, so somebody comes walking up and knocks on the door and, and we'll walk by and hand over paperwork. Um, he eventually will look down at the paperwork and um, uh, kind of like wave the person off and finish like the chat or whatever you guys are having. A few minutes later, uh, picks them up and starts leafing through them at a point in time when one of you is telling a story more to the other two than to him because clearly his attention just kind of got. It's like he's now that guy that's looking at his cell phone at the uh, at the, uh, the the party. Um, so anyways, he's looking down and reading the, uh, the, the documents, kind of like skimming through them. He eventually puts down the documents and, oh, I just realized I have an external link there because apparently I was a gif. Hmm. Um, uh, either way, so, um, he, uh, what is he, lo he's looking down at the documents. Um, and then eventually he looks up and says, um, <clears throat> well, it seems as though he's been questioned since, um, we're not going to have to use any more severe tactics unless you don't believe what he's saying. It looks as though he's willing to agree to everything that you've already stated. 
nods. It's rather convenient. Kirk are people of honor. He has honor. No, I told you. Let's let's drop the pretense. You understand your partners and allies dropped a load of dirty laundry on your doorstep. We understand it's a difficult situation. It's n- is it taking a side if it's simply stating, uh, stamping a statement? They're going to take this crux word and throw it out anyway once we get to the north because he's a, a landless vagabond, okay? It's just one more thing to add to the pile of evidence we already have against your ally um, and their benefactors. It will simply look more honorable for your clan. I wish I could take the words that you're saying and uh, hold them dear to my heart. Unfortunately, that is not how things work when you get a little bit closer up here. You cannot simply uh, expect me to hear this news about my trade partners and agree to uh, back up the claims as received from the... um, uh, the prisoner's uh, own own words. Um, I, hmm. I, 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 unfortunately, have the responsibility of seeing to the safety and well-being of the leadership of uh, Tang Chang. It's also my responsibility to see to the safety of others that are traveling through the region within Tang Chang. If there was a death a warlord of another clan in these lands whose responsibility do you think that was whose whose head do you think that falls on i can't just allow you to travel through the lands without our banner flying alongside you as it lays the claim that to anybody attacking you would also be attacking teng chang this would act as effectively a shield against those that you're saying you're concerned about. At the same time, though, it's not something we offer to just anybody. It's something we would only offer to those that are threatened. It's the honorable thing to do. But it would make sure that others know that, uh, Jesus. And make sure that others would know that you, um, you're aware that something's going on. Not that. You wouldn't be with... The fact that you were ambushed in the middle of the uh, your travels. Oh, if you God. want us to take, if you want us to take, uh, uh, be willing to agree to the claim of what's being said here, then you must also agree to our banner flying alongside you. It seems suspicious see, otherwise. I don't see the harm in that. I do. It's like we can't take care of ourselves. We have to be babysit, uh, babysat through the land. I would see it as uh, we brokered new alliances and trade deals on our trip to the north. Hmm. Can I do like a knowledge check to see how something like this could be interpreted? You can go right ahead. Sure. Uh, this is a... um. I think it's less of warlords and more of a local. Because it's like the opinion okay. of the people as opposed to the opinion of the leadership. 24. It's a really good roll. Are you happy with that roll? Uh, Just yeah. do it to get the next tier. Just do it. Okay. I'll do it. 126. Okay, cool. So um, what I can say is that the people here, they are... Um, uh, uh, the people here... Well, sorry. While the laws say that more or less if they know that you're in danger traveling through their lands it's their responsibility to see to it that you're uh, safe. So uh, for all legal purposes and practices uh, and, and common practices, this would not be unusual. This should not be seen as unusual. However, it's like if you choose to go and tell the teacher that the kid is bullying you, yes, the teacher is then going to go out and speak to the bully, but then everybody knows that you told the teacher that the kid is bullying you and that can have its own consequences. You know what I mean? It's like one of those Catch-22 scenarios. You need the situation resolved, but at the same time, does it cause more problems to report the situation to begin with? You know what I mean? So yeah. so, 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 that being said, um, some people 
that will read into it a little bit too far. Um, others would not at all. Others might even so go so far as to uh, see to it how it is that Nick's suggesting that the um, uh, new trade deals, new allies, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, more or less, you're gonna have your your uh, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News. Yeah, it, it's gonna be. So it's it's like 50-50 on how it's interpreted by people. It could make us look weak to warlords along the river on our way, as they might hear news of it. And it will definitely let the other our enemies know that they've been caught. It's not too big of a concern in our end, because I'm under the impression I'm going to wind up having to kill half the warlords along the river. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm. How do I think the North would take this as right um so so the north would not think too much of it you know what i mean the, specifically the northern okay. clans they that's what's think, important they, yeah. i mean again the people maybe but the actual clans themselves they wouldn't think too much of it because you have to imagine the northern clans themselves they would expect others to fly their banner alongside them they're they're but, but sell also for you you saw the plans oh yeah it was the they're setting up, like what? What was it again? They're like military. Yeah, like, it was like it was like roofs. like stations, people on roofs, on uh, rooftops. Once more with feeling. Yeah. Well, because I was thinking that's like for in case shit went down. But. Oh wait a minute! I must have missed that. So they have plans for what? They have troops stationed on roofs and and like, throughout the city, right? Mm hmm and where the, ba the main strip oh so we gotta leave yeah, yeah but but I, I we can't just like dip hard I'm trying to think about this because if we have their people with us they can't just fire shots at us right because no, it's gonna they we're gonna have their people with us and they're gonna march us right down the main fucking strip yeah um i i look at um morag i think we will march her on our own through ten chang i appreciate your help and i don't wish to put your people in any harm's way through this negotiation are you sure you don't want our banner flying Flying with yours. We are not a weak plan. We are not weak plans. It's not a matter of. Okay. I I kind of stand up, a little faster than you might expect. Mhm. Mm and I you'll, uh, actually, you'll I, actually be a little bit surprised by how quickly you stand. Uh, it's only you that knows too, right? So we don't. Yeah. Yeah. Like I imagine, just as I'm kind of putting this together. Tessel's putting it together. Uh, he gives like a nod. I thank you for your hospitality. And uh, I give a look around the room again. And you have lovely architecture. He's like, thank you. I've worked on it for decades. Um. I, I assume, uh, do I, like, is it appropriate to like shake his hand or is it just like bow? Nod well, 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 yeah, actually, you don't need it. He, he'll bow to you as you leave. So you don't need to uh, bow to him because he's clearly of a lower station. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I look to Varix and uh, Naren. Um, I believe it's time for us to leave. Varix <sighs> just raises one eyebrow, but he'll get up out of his seat. You guys Same. gotta leave. Uh, I imagine I, you wait until you're outside of the Capitol building before you, uh, I, you, you're gonna be escorted out uh, by the one guard again, and then you'll have words outside. Go ahead. I assume that the Capitol building's on the main road, right? Uh, yeah, of course. So I want to walk down it. Uh, I, I know. Can I could have? Can I tell which buildings that these station troops were? Was it just the entire strip? 
It, it was the strip. It was kind of like uh, uh, out and about here and there. You don't have photographic memory, so it's not like you have perfect yeah. recollection. Roll in check. I, I mean, uh, it, um, what are you asking first? So I'm asking if I know if I walk, if I exit this building and go to the left, that's a lot of people. Or if I go to the right, that's a lot of people. I want to get out of view of this building. I wouldn't say a lot out. of people, but there's definitely going to be people. Um, uh, there's definitely going to be people on top of buildings either direction you go, including on top of the Capitol building. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's not like it's every fucking building. That'd be crazy. But but yeah, yeah. there's going to be people either way. But you can immediately walk out and then turn and go down an alley. That's not an issue. Well, I want to walk down the main street because otherwise it looks kind of suspicious, right? For yeah. me to just So I want to walk a bit to where out of like a bit of eye shot and I want to sharply turn into I, an alleyway. I, I'd say you say, well, it looks like it may have been less densely populated. Unfortunately, in that scenario, you wouldn't know. You don't have enough recollection of that specifically. So, yeah, uh, I'll walk. I'll have us walk down a block where it's mm -hmm. really busy and then turn down the alleyway mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, make sure there's no one on the roofs right above me and look to my left and right. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Narin and Derek following me. Okay. I saw plans. A oh, Romy, on... Romy perception checks to make sure there's nobody on the roof above you. Once not that, yeah. not, not them, just you. Ah, uh, it's low. <laughs> Are you happy with your nine? I'm not gonna like it. It's not worth it. Okay. I, you I, believe I, there's nobody on the roof above you? I, I gesture for them to come close so I can whisper to them. S Steve, roll me a D100. Well, luckily, whispering is really hard to hear. Super hard. It is. It's like DC 20. Mm hmm Okay, anyway. Well, no, I, I took the I took the feet. It, it, it's called um, uh, yeah, Midwesterner. Uh -huh. It allows me to overhear everybody's conversations and judge them. <laughs> so I, uh, I whisper. I saw plans on his table. They were hidden a bit. I caught it. They um, they have men stationed along the roofs of the main strip. Something fell off about the way he spoke. These plans worried me. I believe it's best we leave the city, not through the main streets. Did they mean to attack us in the street? I don't know. But as he said, the be... trade allies is Vosk and and mm. uh, Zing Quinn. That'd be very brazen. Dead men don't speak. Where's the prisoner being held? He's. We can't help him. He's in a. The prison. We can't just get in there. Okay, we should. We should have killed him. We should have kept him with us. That's a dishonorable death. This is why following the laws sometimes is so stupid. <sighs> Besides the point. Okay. Hmm. Where are Let us. Man? They're they're in our in our inn. Let's go quickly. Oh. So I want to just go parallel to the main street. Uh right and just kind of stick close to the buildings that are uh, that are between like the main street and the street run so if someone's right above us on those roofs they can't see us because they'd be looking uh, night they'd be looking straight down so it'd be hard i mean it's gonna be kind of hard to pull this off in a city where you don't know the buildings you don't know the layout you don't know this that, and the other thing you're Doing more my best. or less you're more or less just trying to ride luck on this one. Steve never rolled me that D100, but I, I, I'll allow um, uh, V-Sword to roll that D100 instead. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, with what you're trying to pull, the likelihood of pulling that off is going to be rather difficult. Um, yeah. Navigating the city, which I think would be a good check for that one. Um, not knowledge local, that wouldn't apply. Um, I kind of think it's, it's borderline luck, but... Just we'll allow you check? to make well, well allow you to make a survival check. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I can do that, can't I? I mean, uh, if, well, if he discusses survival? the plan. Yeah, I uh, mean, I would I would have said the plan to them. So. Uh, yeah, if you want to lead, he'll let you lead. 
Um, I'm kind of probably a little focused on <laughs> watching the buildings, being worried. Uh, see what V Sword did? Wanna... Yeah, 69. Does somebody the, uh, wanna somebody buy that girl some ice cream. Not, not right to assist you. You've got survival, don't you? Um, Nick? Uh, that's what I have people for. Um, Mine's a negative one, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I got, I got a six. I can roll that. Plus, so I get plus the, two. Yeah. Should I lock it? No, no, no. You're you're assisting Jake. Oh, I'm assisting. All right, never mind. And actually, Nick, don't you offer plus three instead of a plus yeah, two? Yeah, plus yep. three. Oh. Yeah, it's one higher. It, never mind. Of your ability you have or whatever. Okay. Um. Twenty-two. Okay. Sorry, Brittany texted me. So, um, I oh, was a twenty-two total. Um, you're able to, that's including his bonus, I imagine. So with a 22 total, you're able to, um, uh, quickly, um, uh, navigate your way down the streets and whatnot, trying to avoid what you believe will be an area for people to watch you. Now, where is it you're exactly head, trying to head towards? Is it away from the main area over to where it is your soldiers happen to be stationed? Yeah. Okay. You have to make your way over to that direction. No problems. The men are all there then? Yes. Though perhaps engaging in some um, rather aggressive foreplay. Okay. All right, well, we'll order everyone. To We're leaving. Finish up quickly. Get ready to leave. Yeah. Um, cool. So you order everybody to get uh, that we're, we're rolling out more or less. We're leaving now. And like, uh, okay. And so you guys got to go to leave. Yeah. To head north. Now, little details. You can't just roll out with your wagon full of stuff and all of your people and everything down side roads and back roads and whatnot. The main strip is the main strip for a reason. It's meant to be where things like your wagons of supplies and your number of soldiers that you have with you, so on and so forth, are supposed to go down that pathway that's what it's meant to be so especially if you're going to be getting onto a, a a ferry or whatnot to bring you uh into the lake and across it could we so, buy like can we buy like 30 like tower shields and just have them all with giant shields i was gonna say like a bunch of kimonos is it just fly down the street together Oh my god. <laughs> we just if we just all buy heavy shields I mean, or something for our troops, we could relatively easily defend from arrows. If you're worried about being ambushed, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be better to go um would it be better to go all at once or would it be better to, you know, split up uh, not split up exactly, but not have all thirty of us walking down at the same time? It, even like we just say like over the next hour our troops will disperse to the north. Not as a unified, unified like blob of people, right? Yeah, but also if we're attacked, it's us well, three against. The whole if we go, if I, if us three just go now, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, if they if they do attack us in the middle of the strip, though, too, that's a, you know, if we if we survive, then you know. What time of day is it? Blatantly broke the law. Uh, of the northern clans as well as more or less well they're already planning to break and blatantly break the law so mm -hmm. um you're gonna go all at once or you wanna you know what if we go out once they won't do it i i i imagine they won't do it because this is like worst case scenario we all leave right now they're not expecting it and so they can't they're not gonna kill all 30 like four of us Right. It's the. I mean, they could have 100, 200. I don't know how many men they have here. Yeah. Well, what time of day is it? Right. Is it like noon? So it's like market rush where it's the most dense. So they're shooting into the city. They're going to be shooting into the citizens. So you remember if, when you were meeting with them? You were meeting with them the next 
day, but it's never going to be early in the day, right? So it was already when you were first meeting up with them in the in the afternoon. And then you had spent a good amount of the time that was there. Then you just left there and went to grab your people. Then your people finally all got ready, which isn't only five minutes, you know. It takes a considerable amount of time. And now you're starting to head that direction or whatever it is that you're doing. So I would say it's late afternoon to early evening. Our plan, it's our when the uh, it's when the McDonald's line is really long. Yeah, so the the streets aren't going to be super busy, right? Or actually, this is when people that work in the fields and whatnot will be coming home, right? If people from the cities work in these fields. So this is the time, this is the time of day that um, some people are going to. Um, uh, they're going to have people like finishing up their last bit of shopping before the shops all close up. So uh, people are out there. Other people have already returned home for what is they're doing. Because, you know, society moves in waves. And, like, everybody goes at the same time. Everybody returns at the same time, right? It's waves. So this is going to be, like, the not heaviest wave of, of um, uh, in the markets. But it's also not a light wave either, you know? Our option is we go now or we go tomorrow afternoon? I think uh, now would probably be more brutal. Yeah. Set then fire. Let us head we out. Could set fire to, you know, if we we're in a barn or something, we could just, you know. Lock yeah, lock, lock us in. Lock doors. Yeah, laugh maniacally while outside of it. Kind of that kind of an option set. would just be obvious. As if any of these aren't. Um, so, um, yeah, I guess that's the plan. We, we want to get our people and everything in order. We want us to go into the market during this, like, late night rush or late evening rush. Uh, we should go prep to return fire with bows. Yeah, I'm, all of our men have. Uh, all, we uh, yeah, we inform all of our people, assuming that there's a possibility of an ambush and be prepared. Okay. So then you guys are gonna head out now. Cool. Uh, for all of you that are leading your troops, why don't you go ahead and roll me your leadership bonuses? Oh, sorry. Technically, morale bonuses. Um, what our morale? What would that be? Uh, like you're doing your military. Yeah, but uh, that doesn't mean Jake's lower because our armies got defeated. But then it goes up. It would be down by one because you got defeated. But then we go up because we won the battle. I mean, your friend won the battle. No, we. But we all participated in the battles. So we all won. Indeed. That's how that works, though. I mean, you lost. All right, morale is leadership I... plus charisma, right? So yeah, is it? No, 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 no. Morale is, is no. whatever. It's whatever it says on your your army sheet on your spreadsheet. Okay. Okay. Well, this is not that. No, morale is going to be a pretty easy check for you guys. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good roll. It should, it's just, it, yeah. It, I mean, it's pretty good. Hey, we both rolled 13s. And you got the same result, too. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Did you include your leadership bonus, Jake? Yeah, if somebody rolls a D, the, if, if, if the next person rolls D20 and it's a 13, you get a free uh, a free fortune's favor. Uh, Jake, you're supposed to include your morale bonus. Which I is see the very next four. person that rolls. Nope, sorry. Sorry, I she didn't get it. Or your morale bonus should be a four or five or something like that. Five percent chance. That's not so bad. Huh. Uh, anyways. All right, you guys good? So you t you each give your uh, command to your soldiers that then uh, that there might be an ambush that happens, and you start rolling out, uh, heading down into the main streets, bringing out the wagons, etc., etc., etc. The problem is that you notice as you're traveling along that you have Varix's crew is constantly looking up, looking up and looking about for the ambush, trying to find out where that ambush is going to come from. Well, his... he should have, he should have a higher mod actually. 
Because he didn't include his morale bonus from the army. Just his leadership bonus. Oh, he didn't well, include the I four or whatever his army is supposed to have? Yeah, four five or something like that. I was going to say, so that, that's fine. Cause I was going to say the, um, uh, but the other, it's not like the other armies are immune either. I mean, Nick got a 27, but he also did replace one of his soldiers with a, a, one of Hoko's members, isn't it? Oh, no, actually, yours yeah. is, yours, oh, that, yeah. that works out perfectly. Yours are the only ones that are eyes down, locked ahead. Not misbehaving, not looking around at all whatsoever. But even Tesla had to have a couple of his soldiers replaced by Hoko's uh, people. And they're also skittishly looking around and whatnot. They're being, um, uh, they're being wicked sus or mad sus. There we go. I wanted, I wanted to speak Zoomer. They're being mad sus. You're so cringe. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's so cringe how mad sus they are. Stop. I'm just like YOLO. Keep I'm walking. Be, uh, you're hurting me physically. <laughs> Do you like torturing people? I mean, I am a DM. Mm -hmm. Let the Zoomer get back to their safe space, Scott. Oh, I'm sorry. So, do you need a hug? Uh, no. I don't take hugs from old, strange people. Uh, would, would, you, would you rather march the streets? No, I don't do that either. That sounds oh. dangerous. That, that also seems appropriate. Um, oh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, if you're a, a subscriber over in Lost Initiative as well, there are some um, emotes that are that are movie emotes now. Which is pretty cool. Uh, back to you. Oh my god. So Vsor just threw down a couple of emotes into chat. Um, the one that's like it's two sus buttons and uh and the, the, the pointy thing on mine it just says D Live Sus a banana that has what's his name? Uh cop cap is uh head poking out of it and D Live Sus. It's literally what popped up there. It's hilarious. Just tickle my pickle. So sorry. So, anyways, as you guys are traveling through there, they're looking or looking looking around and being very suspicious looking, right? They're just kind of like looking around, trying to take in uh, uh, what it is that's happening overhead, and it it does stand out. It's not as very obvious. And you walk through the main streets and get to the top. Um, Zai. Uh, you get to the top end of what those uh, streets are. You get to the top end of what the streets are. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. So, you get to the top end of what those streets are, and it brings you down uh, all, all the way to where the docks happen to be. You get to the docks uh, of where you're going to be able to hop onto a boat, and you can see these people bringing in their hull from fishing, from their days day long of fishing. There's the people there, so on and so forth. You go kind of walking around. At one point in time, as you guys are walking up towards the 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 the, the docks, uh, somebody's going to come walking down. Whoa, 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 whoa! What what are, we, what are all of you doing here? Transport. Um, uh, with all due respect to whoever you are, um. I, I I don't think we had anything planned for a group of your size hopping onto a barge. Do we not do this preparations yesterday when we were in town? Um, to leave today? Fix the paperwork. Nothing here suggests no, you're leaving I, I, today. I'm asking you out of meta game. You game. guys, you guys absolutely had done uh, uh, plans to uh, prepare to leave and whatnot, but it wasn't like a we're getting on the last boat tomorrow or anything like that, right? Like. It was just to make sure that you found a captain that's willing to bring you, so on and so forth. So, and they're wrong. There is a captain. So. We're leaving today. Um, Listen, I don't know if any of you are from... You're not from around here. If any of you know how this all happens, but... There are set times things that come in and set times that things leave because if they don't follow the set times, uh, the boats have a chance of crashing into each other. Nets can get tangled up. Uh, oars can get smacked. Uh, people get hurt. There's only so much area that, that you can leave and come back onto the docks. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. So unless you're showing up to do some nice sightseeing and to hang out on the deck of the ship, I can't allow you to just, you're not leaving right now. This sounds like a problem gold can solve. Um, I'm sorry, where did you say you were from? 
the south. Step into my office. <laughs> so he'll actually um uh he'll actually uh, turn and go towards what is borderline like um think of like an oversized outhouse because it's not meant to be anything that's super extravagant, right? So it's like a big one room uh sorry, a small one room building. Sometimes if you if you've ever gone um it's like those areas where they sell like dirt and loom and um uh, like uh mulch or whatnot for like landscapers, they'll have these things. It's more or less like a a shed that you buy at Home Depot that somebody turned into an office, right? So uh, that's kind of like what you're you're walking into. Um, and he has like, you know, a desk set up right there and it's like a, a bunch of different areas with like books and ledgers or whatever to, to keep track of stuff. Um, but again, this is, uh, again, you're, you're still in Kajinxi, so it's not like it's how you would imagine being inside Paradell or whatever. Uh, things are a little bit sloppy, kind of all over the place, is a little bit mixed up. Uh, you see books kind of like open and, and, and whatnot. It's like the whole place is cleaned and neatened. You can literally see books stacked up on the floor, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that being said, he uh, says, you know, come in, come in, come in. And then uh, all three of you, I imagine, go walking in. And he goes, oh, um, all of you. Okay. So, um, as I said, I'll there's... Stay outside and keep a lookout. Um, I'll okay. go in with him. He doesn't look surprised then. He says, um, oh, um, so as I said, there's rules of what's supposed to uh, be allowed to come and go. And simply put, I can't break these rules. I could get fined heavily if not imprisoned for, for doing such things. The number. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what you mean by um the number. Nick, at this point in time, you kind of, kind of want to roll your either diplomacy or intimidation check. Oh, I'd rather just kill them, but whatever. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> I'm very upset at this this city, and I it's, want it's, to it's down. not breaking the law if it's not my laws. Um, <laughs> if there's no one left to arrest you, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like Americans yeah. going to other countries and shitting on their government and wondering why they're getting arrested. Like what? You mean I can't talk shit about the local government? Why not? Uh, I'm assuming I'm not allowed to help it's, here. It's, it's, that's funny you say that. Uh, I was in China in a club, and there was like a rap group that came up, and which was already, this scene was my, very amusing to me. And they started screaming, you ain't got no rights, son, to all the people. And then you could just watch the little Chinese um, that they, they were very small, and they came to try to usher this group of people off the stage. And uh, they had these like little like staffs with the hooks at the end to try to push the big people off and it was it was very entertaining um can i sadly this? those those people lost were probably lost to time oh you I mean, mean you mean they were put into a cell and never heard from again i mean i'm sure their hearts beating somewhere <laughs> you know who knows in who oh Anyways, can I uh, yes. this check? The stream is not supported. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm banned from Reddit and WeChat. <laughs> <laughs> You're banned from a lot more than that. Okay. It actually does make you wonder how many streams don't air in China. Like a jokes lot. aside, yeah, a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm rolling diplomacy, so you're gonna roll a diplomacy check. Can I? Can I? Assist if you're assisting. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you. Good cop, bad cop. Good cop, good cop. Bad I'm, cop, naughty cop. What are we doing? Always good, I'm, I'm always good cop. Okay. We know you are. That's a that's a critical failure. But since he was assisting, it doesn't matter. Oh no, it matters. Uh, what? Crits always matter. Does it not twenty matter? Of course it does. Good, good, Nick. To be clear, you still get a plus two. He still technically gave you the plus two. <laughs> oh my god! It, it, it was five percent chance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. It just it just happens. Okay. <laughs> get used to saying that many times in your life. It happens. Um, <laughs> Only on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's probability. Okay, I can't change it's, it. It's more of Wednesday morning. After Taco Tuesday. That, that is true. After, um, after the morning coffee. 
<laughs> so, so Nick, with your 25 total, including his bo uh, bonus, uh, what do you look at the guy and say? So you said beforehand, just give me the number, and he goes, you know, whatever yeah. you... We came in here. There are fines to pay. We'll pay them. We need to move now. This is a business transaction. Um, we don't need to mince words. Uh, everything has a price. Okay. How many are you bringing with you? You saw the group. 34. Well, the fine of letting 34 people go through so early. I mean, that fine is probably going to be somewhere around uh, 10 gold a head. That being said, I need to make a profit off of it if I'm willing to pay that fine. I, I look at Naran. Oh, no, this is where well, this is where Cell he's sitting cross-legged on his chair, and then he opens <laughs> and closes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god! Oh god! Arrange it. <laughs> Scott's dying. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You know, I Tesso does not wear his skirt, okay? He wears pants. Sure. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Oh god. Oh. That would be Session, savage. Session, savage. Session destroyed. <laughs> Fucking hell. Life Life is pain. And you said he's the nice one. I just I just Wow. He is, okay? He bullies Tesla, not me, okay? There's a difference. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> oh boy. Jake's, oh, been to, Jake's been too many nights uh, uh, staying up late thinking about Ravina. So, um... I, I just oh, you don't have it. to anymore, do you? Joey sent you that little treat. So, um... Uh, uh, anyways. The, um... Underneath is all paralyzed. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you... You, you look over at uh, at uh, Naren. What do you say, Tessel? Uh, I look at over Naren, Nar like give him a nod oh, and shit, arrange it. Still there. Uh, I just tell the dude to arrange it, right? Okay. Uh, Naren, do you counter that at all? Do you say anything else? Um, I, I just say okay. Um, name your profit. And he's like, all right, I think I'd be a fool to not make an equal amount as to what it is in paying in fines in case they choose to slap on additional fines or anything like that. So I suppose it would have to be... Uh, How fast can we move? When he realizes that you're willing to pay that, he says, 20 gold ahead and you'll be gone in five minutes. I put uh, 20 gold ahead, so I put it's th 34, so I put 340 down. So, so you put three forty down, meaning if somebody else has to throw the other three forty. I'm assuming Nick can do it, right? That's fine. Okay. So, um, I uh, you guys uh, immediately like count out. It takes you about three minutes to count out the coin, uh, and so leave the uh, what is it, uh, six six eighty, right? To leave yeah. six eighty mm -hmm. there. <clears throat> he looks at that huge stack of coin, um, uh, at that huge stack of coin, and says, "Um, we'll just leave that here for a minute." And um, he like, like staring at it because that's that's a lot. But because he's handled large amounts of coin before, of course he's a dock master, right? But that's a large amount of coin going directly to him. That is a different conversation. Um, he immediately uh, gets up and uh, walks out of the room. Uh, like opens the door for you guys to walk out as well. Shuts it behind you and locks it. And then um, uh, will walk. He just says, "Follow me." He says, walking over down the uh, the dock. Uh, over to a boat where you can see like a captain is clearly about to um, uh, finish like uh, whatever they're doing for the day. And he says, <clears throat> you know, um, uh, Captain Shat. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> you bastard. Uh, uh, captain Shat, you need to um, uh, uh, ferry these men immediately. And he looks at you, he looks at the captain and he, he looks at the dock master and he's like, I'm pulling in for the night. I'm supposed to be heading home. He's like, Absolutely not. You're ferrying these men across the um, uh, across the lake. You're being um, uh, your ship. Your ship is being confiscated. 
It's your choice as to whether or not it's you and your crew that are sailing it, or if another crew is going to be handling it in the meanwhile. And the captain, like, looks furious about that. And he says, just think, more opportunity to find good places to fish. Again, the captain looks utterly furious. And um, uh, he looks over at the big group of you, all of you heavily armed and whatnot, and says, where are they even from? And he just simply says, the south. And um, uh, he kind of like looks around at each of you. And then his eyes stop on one particular flag. It's a flag that's kind of known. I mean, later in the day, it's a little bit harder to notice at first, being a dark blue field with a darkening sky. But when you see as a little gust comes by and uh, uh, sends it waving for a moment and he sees that uh, ashen skull sitting there in the middle, he comes to the realization that perhaps he should listen. Otherwise, it's the last thing he's going to be hearing after his, uh, other than his own screams. And um, he says, uh, yeah, welcome. Okay. Thought I heard something fall. He says, yeah, uh, welcome. And steps aside for you guys to uh, uh, all climb onto a ship. <clears throat> some of the crew come up and like, the hell's going on, Captain? Shut up, back to work. We're heading back out. There's some uh, yammering and whatnot. And he just kind of gives them like a, like a very strong look. And they just are going to um, uh, clamber back on. You, you guys are all on the boat literally within like, from the moment that you counted out the coin, um, you're on the boat within like six or seven minutes. And um, the Dark Master says, you're clear to leave as soon as you're ready. And I think you look pretty ready. He goes, what about gathering up on supplies? He actually looks at the three of you, or at least whoever one of you is nearest. We have supplies. If, if you say that to, um, uh, uh, if you say that to the captain or to the guy that's uh, to the dark master who's looking over at you, um, he just looks at the captain and says, seems like you're all set. See you in a couple days. And he'll turn and walk away, just kind of like letting in that uh, thing of finality. Um, you can notice that as the year, uh, we, we do have supplies, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. We have way more than enough to get like there. Oh, and no. no. You over prepare, so. Um, so you, uh, you, you're uh, there on the dock long enough as he's kind of like kicking off and then starting to, to move away from it and whatnot to, to notice that he immediately goes back over into that room. It, it, it's that little building and shuts the door behind him as he goes into it. So you can imagine he's having a little uh, uh, McDuck moment. Um, anyways, uh, you guys start uh, uh, sailing off uh, <laughs> into the uh, into the lake as the sun is settling onto the uh, the, the uh, lights. Um, perception checks, the three of you. Yeah. Is that everybody? Oh, I missed one. Sorry. So, uh, looking out uh, into the beyond, uh, as the things are growing darker and further um uh moving further and further in the lake you don't notice any soldiers approaching the dock or any archers rushing to catch you or uh anything seeming to chase you down you don't notice any boats that look like they're also breaking away from the dock to chase after you you don't notice any pursuit at all with your highest check being a 22. you yeah. care uh just whenever this ship gets settled and the captain like goes to his quarters or whatever i'd want to just do a quick chat with him but yeah to the captain you're saying or the crew the captain sure you can go in and, and speak with them they did not go out of their way to speak with you they kind I, of I, avoided the group of you uh, uh, and to be I, clear I, of what you're riding on my apologies to be clear what you're riding on it's it's a barge so so this is like what you would imagine being like a typical sailing ship right so it's going to use the winds to get around, but it's going to have, um, uh, you know, oarsmen underneath in case there's no wind. Let's not be completely safe because you're not fighting against a, uh, a current, right? At a big lake, there are currents. Let's not pretend like there aren't, but they're not so extreme like it, like in an ocean with these massive waves and whatnot for you to have to fight against. So they will have areas where oars can go down and give you some degree of propulsion, right? But either way, go ahead, so. How many uh, crew members are there? Uh, so of a ship of this size, you would usually have, um, for it to run with the skeleton crew, at least five. Um, but you can imagine some of the crew already left. 
So he only has about like nine plus him is 10 total. Uh, yeah. So I meet him in his like little like in his like his captain quarters. Well, you can imagine he went into the quarters and you went down and knocked on it. Either that or you're yeah. sitting in, you're sitting in his chair already with your uh, oh, no. heels up on the desk, um, uh, okay. arms raised. I, I wait for him to go down and I follow after. Right. Okay. I'm a sure respectful you. Time. <laughs> Fucking hell! You. God damn it! Okay. So I go knock. It's on- Jake's fault. <laughs> I knock on the door. It's okay? Jake's fault. Nor we get mad at Jake. Okay. It was Jake's fault. I, I knock on the door. Okay. Yep. yep. Um, I assume he says, like, come in or whatever. Come in. Close the door behind me. Um, ca- uh, greetings, Captain. And I wait for him to introduce himself. Um, he just kind of nods. He's clearly um, not happy. Yeah. I apologize for this inconvenience. And then I take a bag out, put it on the count uh, on his desk. It is a hundred gold for you and your men, uh, to help ease the inconvenience we have caused you. I'm sorry. Have a good day. Uh, and he doesn't even, he doesn't even like, uh, uh, yammer out a thank you just because he's just like, that, that's a lot, right? Like, like that is a lot of money for him and his men. I emphasize that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, but yep. I figured probably not giving it to the, the soldier sailors right away. He's probably not going to do They have a way of distributing shit or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I let him handle it. I walk out of the door, I close it and you know, that, that handled the situation. Bootyful. Absolutely bootyful. Um, all right, cool. Uh, anybody else? Anything else? Uh, when so comes out, I'll, I'll just hold out my hand and he's expecting uh, some gold as well. So. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, Varix, um, you should pay uh, your share of what this costed us, uh, as well. Uh, pay it back to me. And- Varix <laughs> goes to grab his wallet in his pocket and he's like, oh, 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 sh-. and then a look of panic comes on his face. He's like, I've left my <laughs> wallet in Car Bay. Oh, man. You know, this is why you're the worst friend, okay? <laughs> I mean, at least Naran pays his pays his bill. He is Australian. Oh, uh, sure. You, you guys have money, all right? Oh, I and you crushingly tax. I have to crushing tax my people to get by. Have to, have to. Yeah, as you're enjoying your 13 weeks of vacation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the giant you keep on staff, sure. You pay a whole BP a month. Just like the idea of Jake's character walking up towards the giant with like a, a like a, 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 a white colored X painted on his chest and he's like, step on me. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you know, nobody else sees that of Den Show. No. Um, so is this, is a sailing trip all well? It's a really good question. So we're going to answer that question after we come back from our little break. But luckily for you, um, uh, for the few days it's going to take to ride up there, you're going to have in chat three different uh, people roll a D100 to help play that, play that out. So why don't we, uh, why don't we take a break and we'll come back. We'll see what people rolled. Cool. Make world. 